I'm in Columbia, Tennessee at Chickasaw Trace Park's mountain bike trail. Then I brought along my Trek X Caliber 8. It's time to see if that G2 geometry meets the hype. This will be a good test for me because Chickasaw Trace's trails aren't very technical or demanding. They're a bit hilly and they tend to be muddy, but they're a lot of fun without much worry. There are a few rocky sections, as you'll see, but it's mostly hard packed and well maintained. But muddy. I did mention the mud. I've been to Chickasaw Trace twice, and both times it's been muddy. And that's because the trail sits right beside a river, or a creek, either way it's water, and it makes things slick, ice slick in certain areas, so you have to be careful with that. I'll let you watch some footage of the ride, and after the footage I'll give my opinions and observations. So sit back and enjoy the trails at Chickasaw Trace Park. I'll see you in a few minutes. Whoa! Okay, it gets sketchy, so be careful. Whoa! It's like being on ice. Ah, the back end's heavy for mud. I got, dude, I'm so not as confident on 29ers. This is better, but it's still not. Ooh. Well, sorry. That's okay.
a coincidence that this is a Trek Excalibur 8 and there are exactly 8 miles of trails at Chickasaw Trace. And there are about 3 signs that we saw. So I don't know how much of the 8 miles we explored versus just looping around on some of the same parts. But either way, the Excalibur 8 handled them all well. The Bontrager tires did their best to keep traction, and they did well all things considered. But if I were going to ride this trail regularly in this condition, I would probably put on some 2.40 inch tires. As far as the G2 geometry, I think it does make a difference, because I'm not overly uncomfortable with handling obstacles on the Excalibur 8. That being said, I think I still prefer 27.5s if given the choice. All the other components performed exactly as you would think they should for a Trek Excalibur 8. Even with the mud, the shifting was perfect, the braking was fine, the handling was overall well. Very pleased with this bike. I review quite a few big box bikes on this channel, and I almost brought the Mirex Finesse instead of the Excal today. Now I haven't ridden these trails in 10 years, so I made quite a few mistakes, and the bike had to absorb that. At one point, I tumbled the Excalibur down a small hill, and I'm 100% confident that that would have done major damage to the Mirax. The Excal just shrugged it off. It's a tough bike, and because of that, I'm going to be riding it frequently. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it gave you some insight into either the Trek Excalibur 8 or the Chickasaw Trace Park mountain bike trails. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. What is that? It's right above us. Oh, it's geese up in the sky. Okay. Look how far away they are. Wow. They're kind of circling like vultures, though. That's that's not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.